You know, I've, I've been thinking the speed of light was always the standard growing up. Uh, nothing faster than the speed of light. Then I thought, there is something faster than that. It's the speed of thought. We can think faster than that light can travel. Mm. I'll give you an example of that. There's 200 billion trillion stars in the known galaxy. That's not just some guy making that shit up. That's a, that's a real smart person that's done the studies on this universe. 200 billion trillion stars. How many planets would that be if they averaged five apiece? That's such a massive thing to think about. There's no point in even thinking about it. Well, then it goes deeper than that. First of all, in the center of every galaxy is a supermassive black hole that I think is, what is it, one half of 1% of the mass of the entire galaxy? So the larger the galaxy, the larger the supermassive black hole. And there's real speculation that if you went through that black hole, you, you reach another universe with also hundreds of billions of galaxies, each with hundreds of billions of stars, each one of those galaxies has a supermassive black hole. You go through that, another universe. Hundreds of billions of galaxies, hundreds of billions of black holes. And then there's dimensions. This is the real speculation when, you know, when people start talking about UAPs and alien life, and there's two thoughts. One thought, well, there's more than two thoughts. One thought is that they are us from the future. Another thought is they are, they're people, they're things, they're intelligent life forms, maybe even artificial intelligence, something that has been created from other galaxies that is physically transported here. And then the other thought is there's inter interdimensional travel, that there are beings from somewhere that are capable of visiting this dimension that we exist in but they exist in something. So they are here all the time. They're just here in a way that we have no ability to access them, but they can access us. And time, and I've heard you say this, that's something we made up. Right. There's no such thing as time. Right. This is the only time right now. Yeah, it's gone already. Yep. It's here, it's gone. The universe is so big, we can't even wrap our head around it. Mm -hmm. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's a grain of sand. Yeah. Maybe it's not even a grain of sand. Maybe it's an atom. Maybe it's not even an atom. Maybe it's a subatomic particle. Maybe the whole thing is fractal. What we are and what this planet is. Have you ever seen the a map of the known universe in comparison to uh, a neuron in the human brain? If you constantly expand further and further out, that this entire universe is an atom. It's a part of a much larger organism that exists in another universe that is infinitely large. So that's a brain cell and that's galaxies. When you look at that, I mean, God damn, those things look the same. <laughs> <laughs> they look the same. If they are the same, if that is what a brain cell is, and that the entire universe is a part of the brain of an infinitely large individual that's a part of a civilization and then it just keeps going and going and going and going.